I came home and the girls weren't here. I spoke to the girls on the phone. They, so I was going to take them to the gym and train them, but they decided to go for a walk. So good for them. They've gone out. They've exercised. So I'm just sat, you know, waiting for them. Yeah, I still got my coat on. I'm going to take my coat off. Uh, it's a little bit cold in the house. And I put an up on the heat on when the girls are not here. When they come home, I put the heat on. And I'm just sat here waiting for them. And Emily's going to work later on. So Olivia's going to come home. She says, you're going to have a shower, get changed. And we're going to figure out. I don't know what we're doing today. If we're going to go anywhere. Who knows? But they're out having some exercise. And I, I'm really proud of them because they're making a conscious effort. Now, Emily come off her calorie count in the last couple of weeks. Because she was doing it for so long. And then she was like, do you know what, Dad? I'm just getting a bit bored in now and a bit fit. And that does happen when you do it for a length of time. And I said to her, look, babe, come off if it for a week or so. And then all of a sudden you just click. And she clicked today. She goes, oh, dad, I want to go back to it. I want to go back to my calories now. And I said, that is completely fine because she's actively kept on exercising in the last two weeks, but she just stopped counting her calories and just said a little bit more of what she wanted, chocolate and so forth, get it out of the system. And now she will start again set the reset button and she'll carry on her journey so good for her but i'm proud of the two of them going out together as sisters and getting those natural endorphins going and it's really nice because my girls spend a lot of time with each other and i always make sure that they are very very close as sisters and as well as we are as a a family unit of three is important because me and my girls are extremely close as you guys know but it's important for me for them to have time on their own so i'm really proud of them so they should be home any bit now when i got the cat in the background is going meow meow now he's a crafty little devil right because we've had to cut him back on his food because what was happening was i was feeding him and then all of a sudden 20 minutes later emily would come downstairs and he'd meow then emily'd feed him and then about 20 minutes half after olivia cut down he'd meow again and Olivia feed him. So he's been manipulating all of us. So I've, we've got to communicate with each other now because he was going for about seven pouches a day. And I'm like, this, that's not healthy for him. It's not healthy for him. So in the last two weeks now, we've all agreed to communicate with each other. So he's trying to get food out of me and I know the girls have fed him this morning. So he can wait now till about one o'clock and then he can have another pouch of food. So we limited him now and not giving him as much, but cats are scavengers anyway. When he goes out, he'll be pinching food off everybody else. But who else is cat or dog manipulates the household? They'll get one to feed them. Then they'll go looking all cute and, you know, barking or meowing and making you feel sorry for them, thinking they haven't been fed. Then you feed them. No, but they've already been fed 20 minutes ago. 